Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica or Ricky Mickey Plans and I am here to plan another week in my happy planner because the weeks keep coming. So I keep planning. This is, as I said, a happy planner. It's a classic size and it is a vertically aligned happy planner. And the cool thing about this kind of planner is that the papers come easily on and off the discs, making it nice and easy to work with. You don't have to worry about your hand hitting the discs while you're putting on stickers or highlighting or writing or whatever, all of it, right? So I take my pages off the discs and because it's a decorative planner, I'm gonna decorate. I am going to use the Seasons of Color book. I should just take this price tag off of here because every time I try to see what sticker book this is and look at the title, this silly price tag is in my way. I think I did the same thing last week because I used the same sticker book because I'm trying very hard not to spend my hard earned money on a bunch of sticker books when I already have a bunch of sticker books. I might show you a picture. I might not because I might be embarrassed, but I own a bunch of sticker books. So I'm just trying to use what I have. This is a really pretty book, but I don't use it very much because it's, if you use this book, I don't know. What do you think? Like, I feel like it's really scattered. Like one style of flower is supposedly one season is supposed to be in a chunk, but it's kind of spread throughout the book. I don't know. I find it hard to work with, but this is what I'm going to go with because it's kind of summery. Actually, it's really summery. And even though I'm in the mood for fall to start, it's not starting. It's just not. So I'm going to go with some bright summer fun colors and um, yeah, start with these stickers. So these are, like I said, kind of scattered throughout the book. Um, like this, this goes with it. And this is many pages away. Like I just don't get it. And so I think I'm going to get a sticker sheet. This is from a book that I, you know, who knows what book that I emptied something from. I'm going to keep this page ready because this one's all the same. But then I'm going to find in here other stickers that are of this same floral color way, if that makes sense. Like that's close, but not quite it. Like it's just a very... It just feels like a very scatterbrained sticker book. Like I think that goes with them, but it look at it, it doesn't go with the ones on this page. Like, I don't know. I will stop complaining now and just find some stickers. I think this is the same. Let me find that one page again. Where's the page from which I'm working? I took my hand out of it. There it is. Yeah, that definitely goes with it. I'm going to stick this in here so I don't lose my page again. This kind of goes with it, but I don't want to use it. It's too big for me. Too big a sticker. And then I can pull green things if I need little pieces of green. I can pull those from anywhere. These might... This this looks like it could. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use it, though. I think it's a little bit different just because of the gold kind of shoved in it. This is one. See, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they aren't, these don't really go together, but I think they, I think they do. So, like I said, I'm gonna stop complaining and I'm just gonna go with it. So this weekend, I'm actually, I mean, I'm obviously filming this before the week you're looking at. I'm filming it during the weekend right before. And this is the weekend of Labor Day. So we get a three day weekend. Woohoo! Um, so what do you do on Labor Day weekend? I was so surprised to hear that this is now the busy, busiest travel weekend of the year. In my, you know, short history of life, I seem to remember Thanksgiving being the biggest travel weekend of the year. But apparently now it's Labor Day. So are you doing anything fun? I'm not. I'm at home. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't mind it. Now see, these Christmas ones are all still Christmassy, so they, like the wintry ones, they kind of kept them together. Except this could fit. No, I'm not going to use that. All right, I'm sure between this and this, I have enough now. So what to do, what to do, what to do. I think I shall start with 
something big down here. In fact, I'm going to move these out of the way. I like these clear, like translucent post-it notes, but they're really hard to get your fingers under and pick them up. So I'm going to take this big guy. Oof, I almost lost him. Did you see that? Take this big guy and kind of go... I want to get a lot of him on there because he's cute. Go something like this. What do you think? Yes? No? Maybe so? I don't know. Sure. Okay. And then let's see from there. So there are no like quote boxes or anything. There are quotes, but they're not in boxes. Are there any quotes that I want to use? I'm thinking up here is why I'm talking about that right now. Um, is that the same style? It's close. Seasons change and so do we. That's pretty. This is really close. Believe in the good. But that's just gigantic. I don't want that. So I don't think there are any quotes in here that are both matchy and the right size. So if I'm going to use a quote, no, if I'm going to use a quote, it may not be from this book. This could work though. That could work, right? That fits. That matches. All right. Maybe that's the one I'll use. Because I do like to put a quote somewhere over here on the side. So let me save this guy. And I'm going to cover some of this stuff that will show through. This top priorities is a very bold print. And so it will show through a sticker. Um, probably the blue stuff will show through. The rest of it may not show through that much. So I'm not going to worry. As... <laughs> Actually, it's all going to show through because it's a clear sticker. So I'm gonna change my plan and grab some extra sticker paper I have laying around and do a very quick, non-scientific measure here and find myself, sorry, I'm trying to turn my body and not the page and that's just silliness make myself a sticker cover for all that. That way I can put my clear sticker on it and that way I can put my clear sticker on it. There's no and. <laughs> that way I can put my clear sticker on it. I always feel bad fighting with stickers and pulling them up when I'm on camera. I feel like I'm wasting your time. All right, so I'll take this. And go like that. Now some of that does shine through like I said it would, but I don't think it's a huge deal. And then I will take the quote sticker. Good things will happen. And I'll put it right there. Hope that's relatively straight. Okay, looking cute. Let's then take I lost my place in this book again. There it is. Let's take this one, that's a decent size. And we'll do this bottom corner over here. It's always a wrestling match for me to figure out which way I want things to be oriented. Go like that. Because I can still write there, that's fine. All right, I'm liking it so far. Let's see here. So I've got this stuff here and I've got these here. Um, I think I'm just gonna pull it off and keep it all together so it's easier to work with. I don't know if I'll use this. I'm not feeling that one. That's the one I'm not feeling the least. I'm not feeling the most. Did that sentence make sense? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. All right. Um, I think that's what I'm going to keep for now. And I'm going to start getting some functional stuff going. And then I will continue with the decorations 
you know, kind of filling in the spaces. So if you have watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I don't normally use this layout. I normally use a layout that I kind of created myself, but I have been getting back for the last week or two to the, um, just the typical happy planner vertical layout. It, it, it kind of feels like coming home. You know, it, it doesn't feel like peace because I really do like the one that I make, um, but it feels like coming home. It feels comfortable. Like I kind of know where things go and how they go. And so it's been fun getting back to this layout. All right, so functionality. This book does not come with boxes and I am trying to alleviate flipping through a thousand books. So as I've done the last few weeks, I'm going to use some highlighters and these are not them. These are dot markers. Let me get my highlighters. Okay, so the highlighters I've kind of settled on that'll match closely are this mild liner, this mild liner, and this Sharpie. What color are they? I have no idea. They're a peachy pink, an orangey color, and a greeny color. And then I do have the dot markers that I will be using too. This is like a pale pink, and this is supposed to be a pale green, but it's been on my test um, strip here. This is my test strip. It's come out dark, but it does match the leaves, so I don't know why it's coming out so dark. But as I was saying, I have not been using boxes as much lately, just because um, the books I've been using don't have boxes with them and I don't want to flip, so I've been using highlighters. So let's talk about how that works. For instance, well, that's not a good example. This is a good example, though. Okay, let's do choir. So we've got a choir practice down here. So I can take a highlighter, matters not which one, and I can just put some lines here. I'm just gonna go like, I'm gonna do it like right here. And then I highlight first so that the pen doesn't smear. And then after that, I will write the information. So this is, um, church choir practice and it is at 6.30 and so I just put that in there and that is there now and so I don't need boxes now I will use boxes for a few things but not for everything so that's one of those things and now the post-it thing so I have this post-it for things that happen pretty much every week so I can just take that post-it move it to next Wednesday voila no thought is needed. So for this post-it here, I'm gonna go down low here because this happens pretty late at night. Put that right there. And then I can mark what it is. And now it's in my planner, so there you go. Now, and I can, I'm going to move this to next week, but you can't see next week because next week's in my planner off to the side of my desk over there. But trust me, I moved it to next week. This one isn't happening this week, so I went ahead and moved it. This, I can grab a highlighter. What's one I haven't used yet? I haven't used this pinky one yet. I do not believe there are any meetings this week, so I won't need to put too much in here. This is a really bright color. But to me, it seemed to go with that. I don't know, it might be too much, but that's what it is. I'm gonna leave the bottom highlighting of this one blank because I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. Um, just any reminders I need about other things going on that Sunday or what I'll put in there. If we have an extra choir practice or if there's a meeting or whatever, whatever it might be. All right, other things to mark. I just gave you a big speech about not using boxes and now I need a box. I'm gonna be a big hypocrite here. I wanted a big box. <laughs> My door just shut, did you hear that? I wanted a big box for here because I'm marking that there's no, no working that day. It's our day off, it's Labor Day. And when I was looking for the box, I found other boxes that I might end up using in here, so. I'm a big fat liar saying I'm not using boxes anymore. But, you know, it happens. <laughs> it happens. It happens. 
I do want to see these cute leaves over top of this box. So I'm going to do like so. And then I'm going to take this. And just to make it a little more easy to notice, I'm going to not line it up with the box like inside the lines of the box because I feel like I notice it a little better that way. And so that is what I will mark that is Labor Day and there's no school. Now the other thing I think I'm going to do is use these little cutie pies for my daughter's work schedule because I've got them and they're here. <laughs> so I might as well, right? So, and the colors match. I mean, they work. So let's get some peach, pink, um, I think she works four days this week, if I recall. So to do this, I will then take, let's see, what do I need to do? Okay, she goes to work a little early on Wednesday, so I'll put a sticker here. Just let it hang off the top. She goes to work a little bit later on Tuesday, so I'll put it here. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to put it in the same same um, kind of panel here. Make it easy to find it, right? And then uh, she works on Thursday. And should I get another blue instead of three pink peaches and one blue? Maybe I should do that. I'll put you back. And get the blue. And she works on Friday. So those are my daughter's work um, spots, <laughs> if you will. Now, oh, and look, there are more. So now I could use these. I could use these for my son's soccer practices too, but I don't think I want to. So that might be it for this. That might be it for this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm, what do you think? I could use more. I mean, they kind of match. All right, I'm going to stop. Focus. All right, what else do I need to put in here? I already put that there's no school on Monday. I do want to mark that there are no classes for um, my daughter's college classes on Tuesday. So she still has to work on Tuesday, but she doesn't have to go to class. The way her class schedule it works is they they teach kind of together like her classes are all kind of hooked together and so if they don't teach on Monday they don't also don't want to teach on Tuesday because then they kind of get off of their schedule so I will mark that in later my husband has a meeting after we're after school on this day so I will put that in here and so that one I will write here. Let's see. Um, department head meeting. Okay. Um, let's see. Also, there is a an appointment on. Thursday that I'm going to put in here. And there's another appointment. I don't think I need to mark that one. Okay. There's an, another child has an appointment. One of my children has an appointment on another day, but I don't need to mark that one because it's while I'm at work and I won't, I won't know whether they are whether they're in class or an appointment or what so that won't that won't affect me if you know what I mean the only other thing no, I'm not gonna say only but the other thing I need to do is get out my icon stickers that are in a classy classy ziploc bag these I will come back to these I will do now so for where I have this post-it for trash night I need a sticker. Let's finish up this sticker sheet. It is the end of an era. It's my last sticker, Monster Co. sticker. There are no more because she is no more a shop. Moment of silence, please. Okay. Oh, I like her stickers. <laughs> it makes me sad. I really do like her stickers. She did a good job. But 
nothing lasts forever. And in our family, when we have trash night, we also have shot night for a member of the family who has to take a shot for maintenance medication. So I just put this little syringe right there. And then, like I said, I wasn't gonna use those, these little stickers for soccer stuff because I have icons. I do need to move this post-it though, boop, to next week. So let's see, we have a, so he has, not we, he has a soccer game on Tuesday and then soccer practice Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I shall mark those now. All right, so for those, I will put a little bit of highlighter as well um, so I can write the time and you know, anything else I need to put. Don't need a lot of information for that. But Now I didn't use my little TV stickers yet for my daughter's work schedule. I don't really need to since they're all kind of similar in shape here. But because I have them, I might do it. So let's see or if I can find those. There they are. So why do I use TVs? I'm pretty sure if you've been watching this, you know. My daughter happens to work for the, like her work study job is for the local PBS station. And so I use little TVs because I think it's cute. <laughs> now, honestly, because icon stickers are the perfect blend of um, decorative and functionality. Uh, I can just glance down, see the cute picture, know exactly what it is. I'm not even thinking, right? That's kind of why you do this planner is you do all your thinking on one day. Honestly, whether you do a, a decorative planner or not, it's good to do have a time when you get everything written down that you have to do in a week. So you do all your thinking up front and then during the week, you've already done the thinking. You don't have to like wonder, what do I have today? What do I have tomorrow? You know, you've done that thinking and you've gotten it written in already. So that to me is, you know, that's, that's part of why we do this, right? Actually, that's all of why I do this. Now the decorating part, that's just cause it's fun. <laughs> that part's just fun. But it, you know, it also, it gets me planning. I mean, I may not do all this work if I didn't have a way to enjoy it as well. So, you know, it serves a purpose for sure. I think that's all I have for functionality for now. So the highlighters are for the things I knew about ahead of time. And then the dot markers will be for the things, I'll just carry these with me, that come up that I didn't, that I don't know about yet. And I'll just add them in as I go or I'll just write in there. Maybe it won't have color at all. And either way is fine. It is not that big a deal. As my daughter says, it's not that deep. So let's see, this looks really saturated compared to everything else I've got. So I might not use it. I do want this and I think I want this. So let's see what to do with them. Let's put this guy down here. I think I want it to kind of marry the pages, but not completely. Just just go over it ever so slightly. You know, so it slightly con connects them. And then this one, I think I want, I kind of want it up here. And I kind of want it to lay flush against the top here. Is that straight? I don't know, but it's close. That might be too much of a sticker. That might, I might have cut that too. Did I cut that too big? I think I did. I think proportionally it needs to be a bit smaller. Well, let's just go down a bit. Try again. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna be better. I think that was just cut a little too big to look right being cut. That's just my opinion. I have no idea if that's a valid opinion, valid point. It's just my opinion. 
And then this guy I will just take and cut from here to cut those apart. Sometimes it's fun to go over the pages like that and connect them like that. Um, sometimes I've done it all the way up and down the spine. Sometimes I just do a little taste of it like that. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, just so that you're happy with it, right? And then, I mean, I do a little bit more here. I could add a little bit of peach over here. This, this feels peach heavy over here and peach light over here. Um, I don't really want it to continue with this. I want it to be separate from this little bundle. So I could do something like that. That could be cute. Let's see how that looks. Whoop. Go like so. Where do I want it? Um, I don't want it. I don't want to split it by this line like in half. I think I want to come up. There we go. I don't know why, but I think I like that look. I don't know why. I do need a box over here for steps. Did that book that I was using have anything that I could use for steps? Surely it does. Here I said, I'm not using boxes, and what do I do but go looking for boxes? I know, I'm a big liar. And none of these boxes are what I want. I want a full size box, which is this size, but I want it to have a nice border. These are good boxes, but they're not big enough. I like to write a little bigger. This could work. It's a little pale. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Is it too pale to go with this color scheme? Let's pull it away from the book and put it on here and see what we think. It's pretty pale. I think I'm gonna do it anyway. So here we go, this will be my box for steps. I'm just gonna go like this. Do, 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 do. Trying to center it, trying to get it relatively straight. All that good stuff. That almost disappears on the page, which sort of bothers me a little bit, but I think I'm gonna let it be. Should I outline it? Will that make me feel better? If I do it and it goes badly, there's no coming back from it. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm not going to try to mess it up. I do want to put a title on it though. So this box is for steps. So I'll just put that right there. Okay. And then the other thing I need to do is my to-do lists. So I need one to-do list for at work and one to-do list for at home. So a lot of people, when they plan out their stuff, they like to have multiple planners. They like to have one for work and one for home. I've seen people have one for errands. I've seen people have one for like social media planning, um, you know, if they're big YouTubers and such. I like to have everything in one planner. That makes more sense for me, with the exception of my lesson plans for teaching. I'm a teacher. Um, those are in a lesson plan book. Actually, they are, to be honest, they are online. I use a, a digital lesson planning book. Isn't it weird that I do paper planning, but then digital <laughs> lesson planning? I know, hypocrite. So I'm gonna take this. You know what, I'm gonna use the smaller versions of these. I'm gonna put these back. I will put those back on there better later. But I have this smaller version that should fit in the box that I'll like better. Anyway, back to the one planner. My problem with this planner is I don't have enough room for to-do lists. And I'm a big list maker. Super type A, gotta have a list. I will write on the list after I do things just to make the list longer, you know. Some of you are that type, you know. If you're watching this, you probably are that type. That's crooked, I don't care. I say I type A and then I put a sticker on crooked and leave it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's where I was going. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I need to-do lists because of that way of thinking. 
And so this lets me do a to-do list. Now this is not Happy Planner, this is Tool, um, but it works with the disk system. And these will just sit in my planner and I can flip them around when I'm at work, this can be on top. When I'm at home, this can be on top. If I don't wanna look at them all, I can take them out. Um, but this system works wonders for me. And you remember this sticker here that was super saturated? I think I'm gonna use it. I think I'm gonna use it. I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna use it at the bottom of these. Let me get you out of the way so I know what I'm looking at here. And I'm just gonna try to cut this. <sighs> you know what, I'm not, I'm gonna put it down first and then I'm gonna use the other half on the other. I was gonna try to freehand it in half. That's not happening. That is not a skill set for me. <laughs> there are some people who can draw a straight line anytime, cut a straight line anytime. I can't even hang a picture straight in my house. My husband's always like, we can tell which pictures you hung. <laughs> And it's not because they're low and I'm short. It's because they are crooked as can be. Because I just, I can't, I can't do straight. I just can't do straight lines. So anyway, that worked to get them cut. To get it cut in half. And so now this is kind of cute now. And this will be my to-do list. These will be my to-do lists. And again, I will use these. Um, you know, put a little, no, I won't. I will use these and put little dots and write in what I have to do, check them off. Everything's happy, right? So there we go. Now, anything else before I say goodbye to you? While I'm thinking about saying goodbye to you, thank you very much for watching this. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. If you were inspired by what you saw, please give me a subscribe. It costs you nothing and just helps me out. And it helps you see when my videos come out because you get like a little notification and you can, you know, you don't have to wonder, hey, does she have any videos out? You can just see it because I know you're all just waiting patiently, impatiently even for my videos, right? <laughs> it's the highlight of your week, isn't it? No. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> with that, I do think that's all I've got. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy planning. Bye-bye.